Good morning, 604. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good. Happy to hear that. Good morning to the following people that showed up on time today. Let's greet you. We have good morning to Liana, Miss Burgos. Progress. Are. We got Liana on time. We got Justin Bodo. We got Kevin and we got Remesis on time. Shout out to all of you guys for being on time today. Hey, Kevin. So today what we're going to be doing, guys, is we are going to be reviewing more seventh grade math, more integer application, real world problems. So we need a learning target reader and a screenshot taker. Who wants to take the screenshots? Leanna? Sure. Okay, type your name in the chat. Screenshot taker, learning target reader. Kevin, you want to read the learning target? All right, Kevin, let's get started. All right, Kevin, here we go. We are going to get started. Let's present my screen to you all. Everyone see my purple flowers? Yes? Okay. No. Well, you're showing this. Oh, no, I see it. Everyone see where it says exit ticket over there? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure we're on the same page. All right. Let's get this party started on Thursday, Ju uh, July. Thursday, June 3rd, 2021, 7 NS1. Please take it away. Kevin? Mm -hmm. Learning target. I can solve multi-step problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of integers and rat rat and rational rational numbers and apply to real world situations. Lesson notes on addition, subtraction, multiplication, dividing integers and rational numbers. Today scholars will review how to solve multi-step problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of integers and rational numbers and apply to real world situations. This is the beginning of seventh grade math. Please refer to the chart below to assist you to become familiar with this rule. Great. So let's review. There are four operations in math. When you're adding and the signs are the same, you just keep the sign and add. So if you have two positives, it's positive and add. If it's two negatives, you take the negative and add. When the signs are different, you keep the sign of the higher number and subtract for addition. In subtraction, we're going to do the keep change change, the additive inverse. I know this is redundant, but we need to go over it. When you are multiplying and when you are dividing integers, when the signs are the same for multiplication or division, you simply are going to either multiply or divide and keep the sign. When the signs are different for multiplication and division, it's always negative. So you're going to either multiply or divide and put the negative sign when the signs are different. Problem number one. Let's hear from Miss Leanna Sanchez. Please read it and tell us how you do it. All right. It says, evaluate A plus B for A equals negative 6 and B equals 34. All right. So it's step one. Rewrite the expression. Yeah, hold on. It's, it's a little wonky. Rewrite the expression a plus b, a equals negative 6, and b equals 34. So what I did was that I know that um, we're going to have to, we're going to have to add both of these, both of um, a, plus a and b, because if you read the problem, it says, that, you know, like I did, Add. So step one was to rewrite the expression. Step two is to substitute. So, so neg negative negative six plus thirty four, and that equals to twenty eight. So, yeah. So I got a question for you. When you say that it equals to negative, I mean to twenty to positive twenty eight. What was the rule that you applied? Can you go over that rule? The rule is different signs. Keep the sign of the higher number and subtract. Say it one more time so everyone hears that. Listen. Different signs. Keep the sign of the higher number and subtract. Okay. This is like too much. Too many people are coming right now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's do that. The rule, you should all be writing this down in your notes. 
the wool. She says different, different signs keep the higher number. Oh my goodness, I can't type today because all these kids are coming in late and subtract. Okay, because every time someone wants to come in, it doesn't let me type. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it like makes it. Okay. okay, awesome, great. So 28. So this would be number one. There you have it. Leanna Sanchez will screenshot problem one for you all now. Again, I screenshotted it. All you're responsible for today is these notes and I ready. That's all you have. Notes and I ready. Same exact thing on problem two. Kevin, you want to read it and try it? Evaluate what? Evaluate A plus B for A equals six and B equals negative four. Um, so step, for step one, we have to rewrite, rewrite the expression. And um, for step two, we have to substitute into a uh, variable, into variables. So a plus b and six plus negative four. So what um, we do is we got a... We put the number six plus negative four, right? Yeah. Now, what is the rule? Signs are the same or signs are different? Um, Signs are different. And then what does the rule say? Keep? Keep the sign of the higher and subtract. So what's greater, six or four, sir? Six. So what's six minus four, sir? Six minus four, two. So. Right. So what's the answer? A, B, C, or D, sir? I mean, E, F, G, or H? H. Nice job. This is very important right here. Awesome, awesome Kevin. Kevin, you've been doing fabulous. Mm -hmm. Right? Mr. R? I got the screenshot. Are you posting it now, Leanna, as we do it? Yep, I'm gonna um, crop the bottom out, but yeah, I'm posting it now. Awesome. All right, it's trying to come in. Caleb's been having internet struggles. Okay, problem three. Uh, Ms. Burgos or Mr. R, who wants to read it and have someone do it? I'll read it and I'll pick someone. Okay. Um, practice problem number three, perimeter at all sides of triangle with integers. A triangle has sides with lengths of 4x minus 14. 10x minus 6, and 4x minus 4. What is the perimeter of the triangle? Hint, you must draw and label the three sides of the triangle. You will have to combine the like terms and use the integer rules. And let us have, do, do, do. Adam. He's lagging. Okay, so let's have Justin Bodo. Justin. You got this, Justin. So remember, we have to combine the like terms. So what's the first thing we're going to do? I can't hear you, Justin. Four x minus four plus ten x. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, sweetheart. It's low, but I can hear you. Hear me? Yes, Justin. Oh, okay. All right. So we combine the terms. We have to, um, I think multiply. You're not multiplying, honey. You're adding at all the sides. So we're going to add 4x, 10x, and 4x. How much is that, sweetheart? 
4x plus 10x plus 4x. Ms. Canelo wrote it in there for you, sweetie. How much is that? It's 18x, right? All right. So now we're going to combine. Good, Kevin. Thank you. Kevin, do the next one. So let's combine negative 4, negative 6, and negative 14. How much is that? Mm, so negative 4 plus negative 6 plus. equals negative 8. No, negative 4 plus negative 6 plus negative 14. How much is that? Oh, so negative 4. So first I'm going to do negative 4 plus negative 6, which? Negative 24. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. So the signs are the same. You keep it in add. He said what? Negative 24, they said, Ms. Burgos? Yes. Okay. Do you agree? Yep. There's one more step we got to do. We got to put the final expression together. Who thinks they can try that for us? What does this final expression look like? Final you know, answer, whatever you want to call it. Answer, expression, same thing. Abigail, what would it be, sweetheart? The final answer would be eight. It would be 18x. And minus 24. Will we pick, is, is A correct, Ms. Burgos? Yeah, right? Correct, yep. Okay. Okay. Leanna, let us know when you're ready. Just want to stress that when you have to find a Awesome. When you have to find the perimeter, guys, you have to add all the sides, okay? Perimeter means add. So think of P for plus, perimeter. Oh, that's a good way to think about it, Miss B. Plus perimeter. I'm going to steal that idea. Call it Miss Burgos. May I? Yes, you may. Okay. Mr. R, do you want to do number four? Are you, are you, is he here? I thought I just saw him. He's here. Where did he go? Mr. R? Who's this? Who just got up? Who's that in the white shirt? Oh, Adam. I don't know, Mr. R? Uh, let's pick on Remesis. Can you read this? Yeah, um, one winter day, the temperature increased on a low of uh, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit to a high of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. By how many degrees did the temperature change? Okay, so how far is zero from negative 10, sir? Remesis, how far is zero from negative 10? 10 spaces. Good. Distance is 10 spaces. Okay, sir. How far is zero from 40, my friend? What's the distance between zero and 40? Um, 40 spaces. 40 spaces. 40 spaces. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to find the total distance. How do I find the total distance? Am I going to add or am I? Yeah. Okay. Now I want to find the total distance. Add. Add. Okay. Add. Add. 10 plus what? 10 plus 40. Good. Equals how much? Good. How much? Hear myself bargain. Thank you, Remesis. Okay, so we get 50. Does anyone have any questions on how we do that? We could probably do another one together and then we can go in a breakout room. How's that sound? I like that idea. All right. Let's do it. Hold on a second, Mr. Let's do it. We'll do one more together and then we will go in a breakout room. 
Problem number five. Mr. R is going to read it, and he's going to pick someone to help him out. Okay. A football team loses nine yards on one play and 12 yards on another play. Write a sum of negative integers to represent the situation. Find the sum and explain how it is related to the problem. So, can I have a volunteer to help me out with this one? Uh, somebody that feels oh, confident. Liana. Liana has her hand up, Mr. R. Liana, please. All right, so the number sentence is in parentheses negative 9 plus in parentheses negative 12, and that equals negative 21 in parentheses or just negative 21. So my um, explanation is that I drew a number line. Okay. Keep that, yeah, but I... Well, what, so what I did was I drew a number line, and I did, um, you know, I put 21, negative 21 at the end on the left side, and then on the other side, um, positive 9, because if you read the problem, it says the team loses 9 yards, and, you know, and play, and, and 12 yards on another play, so of course the right is going to be 9, and then since we added the those two together, 9 and 12, and that equals 21, negative 21, that you automatically know the left side is going to be negative 21, and then 21 is 21 is 21 units away from 0, and then 9 is 9 units away from 0. Okay, so the football, team, so the football team lost how many yards? They lost 9 yards. 9 or 21 yards? Oh, 21 yards, sorry. So I like what you did with the number line. It's just for time. I don't want to draw it, but you are correct. Just make sure when I think you said negative nine was to the right. Remember, negatives are to the left. I then heard you correct that, okay? Oh, no, I didn't. I don't know. I said negative 21 to the um, left, and then right is positive nine units. Right, but we're losing yards. So when any time you lose, you're always... Oh, yeah. right? I meant to say negative nine. No problem, no problem. All right, so what this really means in explanation of the problem is that the football team loses 21 yards. That's what that means. Thank you, Leanna. Are we good, Leanna? Yeah, we're good. I'm posting it. Okay, so I'm just kind of... Okay. So let's do the next one. So in our breakout room... Okay, so in our Miss Burgos, do you feel confident going in a breakout room? Uh, I prefer being with one of you two. Okay. Sure All right, we'll just we'll do these together. Okay, so problem number six. Let's have who's in here? Yerlin. Actually, David, loud and proud. Read number six. Okay. Joel writes check for two dollars and fifty cents. Then he deposits adds, which means adds money, and six dollars in his checking account. What is the overall increase or decrease the account balance? So what we're supposed to do is that we need to like. So if we're running a check, that means that we're taking money, like giving money away, which means that we're losing money. So I would say that we would have to subtract the six dollars and two dollars and fifty cents. Good. So we have negative two dollars and fifty cents plus six dollars. You're going to subtract. The rule states when the signs are this different, you keep the sign of the higher number and subtract. Nice job, David. Yes. David, so. very good. So let's write that down in our notes, bud. Ready? Keep up with me. Rule. Ready? Different. Different. Signs. Oops, not sings. Keep the sign of the higher number. You just said it, right? Yeah. And you said and subtract, correct, David? Yes. Okay. So now let's look at it on the number line. Now we have to model it on the number line. So what number is in between like zero and one? What's half of one? What's half of a hundred? Uh fifty. Okay. So each one of these represents fifty or point five, right? Where these red dots are? Yeah. Okay, you got it, right? So yeah. what we're going to do, my friend, is we are going to go find $6 on the number line, which is here. 
circle, circle, right? Six dollars. Mm. I want to go to the right or the left to go in the negative. You tell us. We're going to the left. Okay, so the next whole number would be five. That would be one hop. This would be two hops at four. So the third hop would be around the dot. Yeah, which is what number? Which is three dollars and fifty cents. Perfect. That's where a lot of students get mixed up. So this would be equal to, right, $3.50. So now my question is, the account balance will have an increase or a decrease of $3.50. Think about it. It will have a decrease. Mm -hmm. um, a decrease by... By how much? You just told me the answer. By $3.50, yeah. Perfect. You see how easy that was? Good job, David. Very well done. Yeah? Yep, that was good. Okay, so I'm going to let Leanna screenshot this, and then we'll go in a breakout room to do seven, the three independent practice problems, and then if you That's have time, you can try to do um, the extension. Okay, yeah. you got it, Leanna? Lee, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me just try to erase this first before we go anywhere, guys. Just give me a minute, please. Let me just erase this that way that there's no I don't know what we're doing ma'am right so okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do problem seven in a breakout room this is optional and these three problems on your exit ticket are we clear of the expectations okay so here we go pretty easy yeah let's do we should, not be cool, what, 1045? We should be done by like 10 50. Okay. So let's do a breakout room. So you guys have to go talk in the breakout room. I'm going to give you Abigail, Mr. R. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Okay. Here we go. Yep. Guys, go check your screen. And cameras need to be on. Boris, I need that camera on, please. And Kayla, if you're in your Justin, I need to see you behind your camera, please. Yeah. All right, problem number seven. Miss B, you want to read it and call on somebody? Mm -hmm. Practice problem number seven, integer word problem application. During the day, the temperature increases by 4.5 degrees. At night, the temperature decreases by negative 7.5 degrees. What is the overall change in temperature? A, write a number sentence to represent the situation, and B, find the sum from the number sentence in part A. And let's pick on Boris. The number. So Boris, how you the number sentence? The number sentence will be 4.5. Plus negative seven point five. Oh, okay. Very nice. Then you'll we'll subtract because. Uh, yeah, what's the rule? The, the if you don't have the same the same sign, you don't add. So the rule states different signs keep the sign of the higher number. And what? Cool. I added that. Yeah. What do you do? Keep this not sing. I keep writing sing today. You hear that? You see that, Miss P? <laughs> keep, the, la, 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 la. keep the sign of the higher number and sub. Okay. So. 4.5 and 7.5. Let's look at it. Right. Left. We're going to go to 4.5. Where is 4.5 on the number line? Anybody have any idea? Right there. It's in, the, it's in between 4 and 5 because um, 4.5 is it's like half of. Good. Half of. It. I want to add seven and a half. So do I go to the right or the left, guys? To the left. 
Okay, so remember, in these dots that I'm putting represent a whole because two halves make a whole, which is 100, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is very important. Check out what's going to happen. I am going to use, let's try, let's try the blue. Ready? So this represents one hop, two hops. Count with me, guys. Three, four, five, six. This is seven. seven. So that represents seven, and I need to go 50 more. So do I stop at negative three or negative 3.5? Is the question. Negative, negative five. Negative, no, Kevin. Negative three. And another way of doing this, good job, is you could have written like this with your pen with your pen thing here. And I'm gonna use, let's try orange. Let's do 7.5, right? Because you're subtracting and 4.5. Line up the decimal points, right? If I subtract, what's five from five? Bring down the decimal point. Remember that? I made a whole big thing about that. Seven minus four is what? Three. So do we stop at negative 3.0 here? You all see how that correlates? Yes? Okay, so there you have it. So now the temperature increased or decreased overall? Did it get closer to zero or farther to zero? Guys, uh, increase or decrease? They are closer to zero. Therefore, it increased. Decreased. We got Wait. increased. You got decreased. What do you think, Miss B? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> what do you guys think, Leanna? Decrease. Decrease. Why? A lot of you are saying decrease. Why? No, it's increase. Well, well uh, yeah, I think it's increase. Okay, why? Because it's called look when you um basically so it came from so we came from four point five, right? And then we took how many hops? One, two, seven and a half. Three, four, five, six, seven. We took seven hops. So that was in seven and a half or uh, seven and a half hops to negative three. So basically, it was increasing. So the, the number, yeah. What do you think, Miss Burgos, with her explanation? I think it's a good one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good one. There you go. There you have it. There's problem seven. Leanna's going to screenshot and post them all up now because um, that's what we're doing, guys. Everyone I got the screenshot. Great. I'm going to say, say la vie. See you another time. Mm -hmm. la vie. Oh, I haven't used it. Au revoir. I know, right? In a really long time. Adios. Adios. Adifadarchi. A little Italian over there, guys. I just want to take this away and take that away. Okay, so this is for you to do at your own leisure. If you would like to try it, I'm not going to spend time over it with you right now. That's just silly. But we're going to do these last three problems. All right. Exit ticket number one. So question number one. Samari walks forward 19 steps. He represents this movement with a positive 19. How would he represent the opposite of this number? And let's call on doo -doo -doo. Yellen. What's the opposite of forward? Backward. Yeah, thank you. I heard people say backwards. So which answer is it? Nobody wants to A. Okay, moving on. Good. So we evaluate A plus B for A is eight and B is 34. Let's call on Ian. Oh, 
What will be your answer? Negative A plus 34. What is the rule? Different signs keep the sign of the higher number. So, and subtract. So, 34, negative A plus 34 equals what, Ian? Twenty-six. Thank you, David. So the answer is D. Nice job, Miss B. Teamwork. So yeah. Here is one and two. <laughs> Leanna, screenshot one and two, please. Right I now. Have a screenshot. Fabulous. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Last question on your exit ticket. I think we just did something like this yeah we just did a question like this we just did this yeah emily writes a check for two dollars and fifty cents then she deposits which adds money six dollars in her checking account what is the overall increase or decrease in the account balance hint use the number line to solve the situation kevin can you do this one for me Um, so first we write the number sentence, then we write the rule, which is, um, different signs, you keep the higher, the sign of the higher number, number, and subtract. Very good. So what is six dollars from negative two fifty? Six dollars from negative two fifty uh, is three point fifty. Yes, oh. very nice. Really, do I have to really demonstrate it again on the number line? Here's six, right? Thank you, David. David also wrote three fifty. Nice job, David. Good. This is six, and I'm going to take away one, two, and fifty would be right here. Right? Mm -hmm. this would be, the answer is A. Three, sorry, 3.50. <laughs> right? A. Got it. Questions, comments, concerns? You guys got this? You understand it? Leanna, did you get this? Yes, I got it. I'm posting right. them. All you are responsible for, guys, is making sure these notes are turned in. Once these notes are turned in, all you are responsible to do after you turn your notes in is to complete I ready. It is 1043. This class is over at 1110. So that means you guys have 27 minutes. Let me repeat. All of you have 27 minutes to turn these notes in and make them perfect. Once you are done, you work on I ready. Are we clear? Thumbs up if we're clear. Thank you, David. Thank you, Ms. Burgos. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Remesis, Brandon, Justin. Okay, get the